The Supreme Court has issued the detailed judgment explaining why the nine justices unanimously dismissed the presidential election petition filed by former Prime Minister and presidential candidate Amama Mbabazi. In March, Mbabazi sought to have the court annul President Yuri Museveni's re-election, but the justices felt that he had not proved his case to their satisfaction. Excerpts of the detailed judgment were read by Justice Jotham Tumwesije on behalf of Chief Justice Bart Katurebe, who is out of the country. The justices agreed that court was not required to make an inquiry in the election as sought by Mbabazi, but rather make their decision on the basis of evidence presented in court. This court, dealing with presidential election petitions, is in line with the practice elsewhere. We are unable to agree with the petitioner's submission that this court ought to have adopted the mode of the commission of inquiry. As the court said in the summary of the judgment delivered on the 31st of March, the justices re-emphasized that the petitioner, Amama Babazi, did not adduce adequate evidence to prove that the first respondent, Yuri Museveni, was not validly elected and that alleged voter bribery and intimidation and use of government resources did not give him an unfair advantage. The Supreme Court made a number of recommendations to improve the electoral process. These include extending the time of filing and hearing the presidential election petition. The court said the time to gather and file evidence is inadequate. Allowing other forms of evidence such as oral evidence instead of relying on affidavit evidence which may not be reliable. Extending the time to prepare for or hold another election from just 20 days as per the constitution if a presidential election is nullified. Enacting a law to regulate the use of technology during elections. A law to guide the operations and sanction state media if it does not give equal and balanced coverage to all parties prohibiting donations during the election period and prohibiting by law the involvement of public officers in campaigns and elections. The Supreme Court also recommended the exclusion of the Attorney General as a party in a presidential petition. In their recommendation, the Supreme Court justices have made it firm and clear that Uganda should pave way for free and fair elections come 2021 and that the process should start immediately. They have also asked the Attorney General to expeditiously handle the process of implementing some of the recommendations that they have made in today's full judgment. The Attorney General shall report to the court within two years from the date of this judgment the measures that have been taken to implement these recommendations. Three, the court may thereafter make further orders. Before, recommendations have been made and they have been ignored. And the Supreme Court is saying that no, it's not enough for us to make recommendations and they are ignored, but that those recommendations must be followed up, must be implemented, and the Attorney General has been of, um, ordered to report to court. The Supreme Court had promised to give a detailed judgment in 90 days after they dismissed the election petition, but has come 150 days later. Suhail Mugabe, NTV Weekend Edition.